Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to fix out the issue of your BSOD error with error code 0x00000098. Your PC or device need to be repaired. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, before performing the steps, I suggest you if you have attached any external device to your system such as any PS4 controller, Xbox console, any external mouse or keyboard, make sure you unplug all the external devices from your system and then simply restart your PC and check if you are still getting this particular issue of error code 0 x 0000098 If this failed to work out, let's proceed with the advanced steps. Go ahead, restart your PC, turn off your PC using the power button and then turn it on. And once windows attempt to load, I mean whenever the spinning dots started to come up, just go ahead, press and hold the power button again for at least 10 seconds until your system turn off. As soon as your system turn off, go ahead and turn it on. And once the spinning circle started, again hold and press your power button for 10 to 15 seconds to turn off your PC. You need to do this step three to four times and then your windows will start in the recovery mode and a screen startup which is saying diagnosing your PC. I hope you understood. So I'll go ahead and do the steps as I have told you right over here. I'll go ahead and restart them by PC using the power key three to four times until I see a screen diagnosing your PC. Here comes the screen preparing automatic repair. Diagnosing your PC. Now this means I have restarted my system correctly using the power button. Now after diagnosing your PC, you will see a screen like this automatic repair. From here you need to click on the option advanced options. Now click on the option troubleshoot. Now here click on the option advanced options and select command prompt. Select your username. If you have entered any password, enter the password else click on the continue to open the command prompt. Now here you need to type here few commands. First one is boot rack space slash fix boot and then hit the enter key. If it is giving you access is denied type here boot sec t space slash nt60 space sys then hit the enter key. Now again type the same command boot rack space slash fix boot and hit the enter key. Now type another command boot rack space slash fix mbr. Now third command is boot rack space slash rebuild bcd and then hit the enter key. It will start to scan. Now it is showing that total identified windows installation is zero. Now at your end if it is showing that identified windows installation is one under it it will ask you a question to type in either Y, N or A. So you need to type the A as I have shown right over here to select all the installation and then hit the enter key. Once done, type exit. Now go ahead, restart your PC and check if you are still getting the error code 0x00000098. If this failed to work out, let's proceed with the next step. Again, you need to head over to command prompt now in command prompt, you need to type a command which is bcd boot space the drive letter of your windows. Generally whenever you open command prompt over here, the drive letter of your windows change from c to d. So I'll type in d double comma slash windows space forward slash s space again the drive letter of your windows which is again d double comma and then hit the enter key. Now once it is done, simply copy the last command which is bcd boot space slash p and paste as it is over here by pressing the control v button and then hit the enter key. It is giving me the error because I have chosen the drive as c but my default drive is now d so I will type in the d key over here and then hit the enter key. Now boot files successfully created. Now go ahead, close it. Again, turn off your PC and then restart it 
and this will completely fix out the issue of error code 0x 000098 in your windows pc now if all the method fails the last hope you have is to do a installation of your windows and then recover your data to do so you need to use a usb drive of windows and then plug into your system i'll go ahead and plug in windows usb drive and then show you how you can fix out with this particular error code select your language and hit the next button to continue and click on the option install now choose i don't have a product key select the edition of your windows and hit the next button to continue accept the terms and conditions from here click on the option custom install now here is the point in whatever drive you would like to install windows in your partition 2 or in your partition 3 generally what people does is simply select the drive and either click on this delete option or else choose the option format which will completely format your c drive but in your case you do not need to choose any of these options simply select the drive and click on the next button to continue it will take up to 30 minutes and this will completely install the new operating system in your current drive which is drive c and after the installation of your drive all your data will be completely safe in other drives which is if you have drive d e or f and the data from your c drive can be easily recovered either using a software which i will give you in the description of this video or else you can simply head over to c drive windows.org folder and as soon as you open windows.org folder you will find a folder with your existing username go ahead open that particular folder and in that folder you will find all your files from the c drive so this is all about it friends if this video works out for you i request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel thank you so much friends thank you for watching